In this video, we have another scenario of dealing with previous row, but in this uh, case study, we will uh, use dex function to bring the previous row value and then make our calculation. So, as you can see, we have uh, uh, an orders uh, tables. Uh, every order have um, uh, have an, a user assigned to it to check uh, items included and so we need to calculate a uh, pair order number uh, how much it uh, it took from the user to review or scan this item a pair order number so actually the logic we need to make is uh, subtract current start hour from the previous end hour so give me the duration between them so to do that we will start now and make a tax function but first we uh, we will need to make two calculated columns first the previous end hour in a calculated column then we will make another column calculated column to subtract the current start hour from this value the previous end hour so from the toolbar select new column and we will use actually here the variables to make this functioning so we will call it previous in our uh, press alt enter and uh, select our first variable we will need to put all the uh, component of these functions from our values here in the model so we will uh, need the logic of the uh, comparing on same order number so will a variable called order number and it's equal to our order Number. and then another variable to hold the start hour and I will call it s hour okay another variable to hold our end hour I will call it e hour okay and uh, what we want this function to return is the previous in our time so we will make the calculate function to have our expression as maximum in our okay and we will put our filter our table is the orders table and we will tell uh, our functions that the current a value of start hour should be less than our variable is hour and another condition uh, is also the end hour to be less than our variable and hour means I hear uh, pointing to the previous row and the same order number to be equal the variable of our order number and uh, this should give me uh, the previous row in our so uh, let's press enter and check and validate our calculated column and here we need to do some formatting go for the column tools and we will select time okay so as you can see here in the new column it brings me the previous in our so the second step is that we need to calculate the subtraction or the duration between this uh, uh, previous end hour and the current start hour to see the duration happened between them so uh, easily we will make another new calculated column and we will call it uh, time taken And here we will uh, subtract start our value from the previous in our column. So it gives me the duration taken from the last row till now. And we don't need to have, uh, of course, this first uh, row filled with a data. So we will put a condition if is blank previous hour so give me zero 
So we will mix uh, the condition the uh, previous end our column is blank, put me a zero, else makes a subtraction. And uh, last step is to convert this to seconds. So uh, while we are on the time taken column, we will select the date type to be time and then we will select okay yes and we then in the format section we will put the uh, small s letter to uh, force the second format as we can see here so uh, it's give us uh, our desired calculations in ju just two uh, calculated columns using the variable uh, feature and using the calculate filter functions. So tell me uh, if this uh, is uh, functioning with you. Uh, do you know this before? And also I will point to uh, one of uh, powerful videos here from uh, Ross Martinez that uh, uh, mentioning uh, the usage of this functionality uh, on uh, COVID-19 uh, example. Uh, it's very, very powerful and a reference uh, to, to these case studies. Thank you very much.